This is a QSC KW-153. It's a three-way uh, loudspeaker. 1.75 inch high frequency driver up top and a 6.5 inch driver in the middle and a 15 inch on the bottom. So you get the high frequency up top. Middle you got the 6.5 inch and down low the 15 inch low frequency driver. The speaker does really well indoors and it does well outdoors if you get it up high enough off of the ground. It's got the mounting holes up here if you do want to uh, fly the speaker. That's the QSC KW-153. Got handles on both sides for carrying it, and there's a there's more mounting mounting holes on the sides too. It's got a variety of different inputs and outputs. Uh, one is a mixed output, so you can send the signal uh, without having to deal with left and right. It'll just be mono or dual mono. Both channels will be going out the same uh, cable. You can send that to your subwoofer or to another KW-153. Down low you'll see the inputs and outputs that will allow you to use the speaker in different roles. Here we have the QSC KW-181 in its case. It's a soft cover with uh, inserts in it to make it a little more rigid. It's a nice case for transporting the uh, speakers in. So we will get a good view of the 18 inch woofer. Right now it's uh, oriented on its, on its wheels. Makes it really easy to transport this way. Just like all the other K and KW um, series Loudspeakers from, from QSC, the same inputs and outputs on the back, and gain settings and different controls for uh, reversing polarity. This is our X32, um, it's a full size 32 channel digital mixer. And there's the uh, case that it rolls around in. Go ahead and open that up. Case is made by Gator. Made in the USA, I think. Or no, actually, this is made in China. It's a pretty decent case, though. Except for the, uh, I like the particle board on the bottom. It's kind of cheap. Casters are okay. I've had it for over a year, and it's still holding up pretty well. So we'll go ahead and open it up now.
a doghouse on the top to hide the cables. Makes things a little bit neater if we're using a, an uh, analog snake. Testing out the faders, making sure everything's working. This is the X32 rack. Sixteen channel digital mixer. In this particular rack we have it with a uh, patch bay to bring the XLR inputs around the front. There's also a drop snake in the back of the rack so we can put the uh, outputs on the stage that way either go in the front or the back with this and it's 16 channels on XLR with uh, 6 TRS quarter inch aux inputs and outputs as well on the back it's the X32 rack this is the ZLX 12 p it's a two way loudspeaker got handles on the top and side. On the rear it's got DSP, lets you select between monitor position and on a pole and different EQ voicings and also your, uh, your subwoofer setting for your crossover. That's the EVZLX 12P. So 32 channel analog snake, 100 feet, 32 by 8. This is the Electro Voice ZXA1 sub. It's got a 12 inch driver in it. It's got a pole mount on top, handles on the side doesn't have DSP on the back, it's just got a reverse for polarity and a boost switch. Got your gain knobs and two inputs, two outputs. That's pretty much it. And look for your IEC cable. Pretty decent little sub. EVZX A1.